Shalom. First and foremost, giving all praises, honor, glory, respect, and blessings to Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai, Basham Rachakwadash. Salutations to the Lord's elect on the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth in sincerity while patiently waiting for Yahweh Shai's return. And double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone which have taught us everything we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And welcome to another series of Edifying Rants where I talk about life issues and how to overcome them according to the Holy Scriptures. So um, this video comes recently as um, a trial that I am going through. You know, every day we go through trials, we go through our daily struggles, but it is only to harden us in a righteous manner and, and, and to teach us endurance, which the word endurance means to make hard. And um, the Heavenly Father, he's gonna test you from, from many different angles. And one of the ways that the Lord is going to test you is through principalities. Now, if you don't know what principalities are, principalities are basically demons. Okay? They operate and they work for the Heavenly Father on the left hand side. Okay? So they're like your left hand side angels, you know? They're, they're, they're the evil angels on the left hand side. Okay? And, um, When it comes to these demons, man, the Lord, the Lord is going to allow these demons to test you from, from many different angles. Like um, some brothers, you know, they, they, they did videos where, you know, people just out of nowhere get, get, give them the death stare. Sometimes pe people would just stare you down for no reason. They're, they're just looking at you with a frown on their face as if you did something to them. And, and you don't even know them. Those are just demons, man, okay? Those are demons looking at you from, from, from that person's perspective because the demons know who we are. The demons know who the Lord's prophets and servants are. Now I have to humble myself, okay? I'm not calling myself a prophet or a servant of, of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. I'm not calling myself that. I mean, Lord's will, I'm a prophet of, of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Lord's will, I am a servant of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. <clears throat> but um, you know, these, these demons, they know who the Lord's prophets and servants are. So you know, you know, de demons are gonna come at you from many different angles. Now, earlier today, <clears throat> you know. I'm, uh, I'm uh, just coming back from the plantation, <laughs> okay? You know, here it is. I'm just coming back from, from the uh, plantation and I was trying to figure out what the title is to this video. So I just finished doing the video on uh, Queen Elizabeth's coronation, right? And um, here it is. I'm trying to open up the video from my sit down lessons folder and, and, and um, out of nowhere, my laptop starts to freeze up. It starts to operate very slow. And, and you know, I have a very short time to check out the title to this video because you know, here it is, my manager is here. She, you know, she, she, she's getting changed in the bathroom, getting ready for work, you know? And so, you know, my, my, my time is short. So, you know, I'm trying to figure out what the title of this video is but before, you know, it's time for me to go. So this whole time, you know, I'm over here, I'm clicking on the video, I'm trying to get it to open, right? And, and, and the whole time, the, uh, the sit down lessons folder was freezing. Okay, it was freezing. I couldn't even get the video, I could, I could not even get, get the video to open. 
You know, so I'm over here, I'm getting frustrated. I'm getting angry. You know, you know, my laptop is freezing up. Well, not my laptop, it's my brother's laptop, but you know, the, the laptop is freezing up. And you know, and it's like, it's, it's taking three minutes. It's taking almost three minutes for me to, to, to get a message finally telling me that, that, that the video was unable to open. So, you know, I go for it a second time, same thing. The, 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 you know, the screen starts free and, 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 and let me, let me tell you something interesting. None of this shit started happening until it was time for me to go because these demons, they knew I had but a short time to upload these videos because once I leave my job, you know, my laptop is not going to be connected to the internet. So now I got to walk home. I got to wait until I get home in order for these videos to continue to upload. Meanwhile, I, I, I'm, meanwhile, I'm still unable to confirm what, 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 what the full title of the video is. So, you know, I realized that because, you know, prior to that, you know, there was absolutely nothing wrong with my laptop, you know? And a matter of fact, before my manager walked in the door, right, my laptop was working perfectly, you know? I was uploading videos smoothly. Whenever I clicked on the video to open it in order to, 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 um, to get the title of the video, hey, the, 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 the video will open perfectly. There was nothing wrong with it, boom. You know, I, I, um, I right click, I hit, um, I click on open, boom, the video opens, I'm able to get the title, I'm able to title the video and then upload it to YouTube. But as soon as my manager walked in the door, I realized I have a very short time to upload these videos. So in the moment where I knew I had to go very, very soon, right? Here it is. I'm trying to open up the video in order to get the title, right? Out of nowhere, my screen starts to freeze up. My screen starts freezing up. Out of nowhere, it just starts freezing up. My screen freezing up, you know? My, um, my, my sit down lessons folder where the video was at started freezing up. I couldn't click on anything. And then by the time I finally get a message out of nowhere with the laptop telling me it, it's unable to open the video, I'm like, what? How are, how are you unable to open the video? So, you know, here it is. I right click, I hit open. Guess what? Bam. I hit open, right? Nothing. The screen went right back to freezing up. I was unable to click on anything. My sit down lessons folder went to freezing up. And then another two minutes later, I got another message saying, unable to open the video. So, so those were demons, okay? Those were demons attacking the laptop, preventing me from, from getting the title of the video. Because once, once I would've got the title to the video, I would've been able to, up, I would've been able to upload the video with, with the full proper title uh, of the video. So those, so those were demons. Those were demons attacking my laptop making it freeze up so that I, I could not open the uh, video to get the title. And that's where Ephesians chapter six, verse 12 come in. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities. And what are principalities? Principalities are demons. You see, when you come into this truth, you start to understand that you've entered a spiritual warfare. You've entered a spiritual war, you know? You're not dealing with people on a physical level anymore once you come into this truth. You're dealing with demons. Even when you was in the world, like, you know, you know, when I was in the world, right? One thing I, 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 one thing I failed to realize was that when you're in the world, demons are always fucking with you trying to get you to smoke, trying to get you to commit adultery, trying to get you to get tattoos, grow dreads, line up your head, shave off your beard, you know, put, put, uh, be, being a man, putting on women clothing. Those are all demons, man, you know? But then when you come into the truth, you realize how demonic this world is, you know? 
even the phone in your hand could be a demon. <laughs> you know, you know, I've seen people who who just they're walking down the street or oh, especially these women and, and, and their eyes are completely glued to the fucking phone, man. Like I'll be riding my bike down the sidewalk. I'll be right behind them. Their eyes will be so glued to the phone that they won't even realize that I'm behind them. I have to clear my throat or something just to get their attention. That's how much a, a, a phone could be a demon to somebody. You know, anything could be a demon, especially if, if, you're, if you allow your flesh to feed too much into it. Liquor can be a demon. Video games can be a demon. Movies can be a demon. You know, there's demons all around us. You know? So, hey, just know this, man. If you're on your laptop and you might be in the middle of edifying or, or uh, attempting to feed the Lord's sheep and your laptop start freezing up, you might even get a white screen saying, uh, this page is unable to load. Would you like to wait or close the page? Hey, know that those are demons attacking your laptop, okay? So I gave you an example early, earlier. Before my manager walked in the door, before my manager walked in the door, I had all the time in the world, man. You know, I was able to take my time. You know, whenever I went to go open up my videos from my sit down lessons uh, folder, the videos were open smoothly. You know, there was no lag, there was no freezes, nothing. But as soon as my manager walked in the door, that's where my time was cut short because now I have to leave my job site, you know? So in that moment, when I had a very short time to upload these videos, that's when these demons started attacking my laptop. But you know what those demons were trying to get me to do? Those demons were trying to get me to, 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 to uh, destroy that laptop. Because, hey, when, when, when somebody get fed up with a computer after a certain period of time, man, then, then they, they, they just say, fuck it, man. You know, they start hitting their laptop, they slam it against the desk, they kick it, they slam it to the ground, they break it in pieces. And that's exactly what these demons want. They want you to destroy your laptop because that is the main conduit of, of what you use to upload your videos. Your laptop is your main conduit to, to how you upload your videos to feed the Lord's sheep. These demons, they don't want you to feed the Lord's sheep. Now, I bet, I bet if that video that I was attempting to upload was about pork, I bet you that video would, would have uploaded smoothly. I bet you, I bet you that video would, would, would have opened smoothly. If that video was about, you know, if that video w w w was about how you can eat pork, I bet you that video would have opened smoothly. I would have got the full title and I would have been able to upload the video to YouTube. But no, because that video was about righteousness, because it was about justice, because it was about truth, guess what? The demons decided to attack my laptop. Nah, bro, we're going to make sure you don't get the title to this video so you don't upload it. Okay? <laughs> you know, <laughs> bunch of bullshit, man. But it just goes to show you, man, the demons will attack you through your laptop. They, they, they'll make your laptop operate much slower than what it really does. Demons will attack you through your phone, you know. They disconnect you from the internet. My, 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 uh, demons will make your live stream buffer. Demons will even cut you off your own live stream. You'll be in the middle of live streaming and out of nowhere, the screen go black. Nobody can hear or see what you're saying. So, you know, it is what it is, man. You just got to deal with it. You know, uh, uh, the scriptures speak about uh, despise that that's in um, Hebrews, the 12th chapter. No matter of fact, let me get that. Let me get that. Hebrews 12. Okay. Hebrews, 
chapter 12, verse 5. It says, And ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you as unto little children. My son, despise not thou the chastening of the Lord. Okay? The chastening of the Lord. Yeah, the Lord is going to chast you by using the left hand side, which is these left hand angels. These left hand evil angels. Because what do evil angels do? They bring evil. Okay? The fact that, that these angels, which left hand, left hand angels are no more than demons. Okay, in which, uh, no, the, these uh, left hand angels, they're no more than demons, principalities, okay? You know, these, the, uh, these left hand angels, they were created to bring evil. So if your laptop is so, so if these demons are slowing down your laptop, making it operate much slower than normal, just to piss you off, just to frustrate you, just to upset you. Well, your laptop being slowed by these demons, that's an evil thing, man. And that's what happened to me just now, man. Those, those, those evil angels brought, brought evil on my laptop by causing it to operate much slower than normal. And when I tell you, each time I, I try to open up the video in order to get the title, my, the screen will freeze up, my, my, uh, my sit down lessons folder page will freeze up, and it, it took, I literally had to sit there and wait while this, this thing was freezing up just, just to get a message telling me that it was unable to open the video. Like, how are you unable to open the video out of nowhere? Before, you was opening every video perfectly. But as soon as my time was cut short and I had to go soon, oh, oh, now, now you can't open the videos. Oh, now the screen wants to freeze up. Now my folder, my, my sit down lessons folder page where my video was at wants to freeze up. You know why? Because those are demons. Those were demons attacking my laptop. So uh, Hebrews chapter 12, verse five, and ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you as unto children. My son, despise not thou the chastening of the Lord, neither faint when thou art rebuked of him. For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth, and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. So who the Lord loveth, he chasteneth. So the reason why, so the reason why the Lord put that hell on me using the left hand side it's because, well, according to Hebrews 12 and 6, the Lord loves me. I mean, Lord's will, he loves me. You know, I can't really say for sure if the Lord loves me or not, you know? I mean, my thoughts are not the same as the Lord's thoughts. The Lord's thoughts are, are not my thoughts, you know? His ways are higher than mine. So, you know, who, who can really know the mind of the Lord, you know? But the point is, is that who the Lord loveth, he chasteneth. OK, so if the Lord loves you, he's going to make sure you go through some kind of hell in this truth. OK, if the Lord loves you, he's going to make sure you go through some kind of hell in this truth. Verse seven, if ye endure chastening, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai dealeth with you as with sons. For what son is he whom the father chasteneth not? But if ye be without chastisement, whereof all are partakers, then are ye bastards and not sons. So if, 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 you, if you're in this truth and you're not really catching hell, man, you need to question yourself, like, what, what are you doing in this truth? Because demons, they're not going to attack somebody that, that, that's on their side, you know, if you're smoking, you got dreads, you're sagging your pants, you know, you're getting tattoos, you, you, you love committing adultery, being a mo. Well, well, demons have no reason to attack you. They, they've already conquered you. You've already been conquered by those, by, by, by those demons. But now, if, if you're in this truth and you're fighting to do the right thing, you're going to be attacked by demons. Rather, if it's through people, 
through children, through your wife, through your boss, through, through, through your devices, like your laptop, your PlayStation, your Xbox, your, 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 your GameCube, your Nintendo Wii, rather if it's through your phone, rather if it's through customers at your job, rather, rather if it's through your fellow employees at your job, rather if it's, uh, rather if it's through your vehicle, your car, rather if it's through other people who are driving on, on, on the streets. Oh hell, you might be going, you might be um, going somewhere to buy, you might be um, going to a restaurant to eat out and you know, the employee might give you a nasty attitude about it. Okay, those are demons. Okay, verse nine, it says, furthermore, we have had fathers of our flesh, talking about your, 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 your biological father, which corrected us. And how, how were we corrected? How, how were we corrected back in the ancient world? Would our fathers, you know, grab our hand and smack us on the hand, telling us no? Well, probably. But the main way of, of, of how, the main way of how our fathers would, would, would correct us back in the ancient world was through pain. Okay? And that's where, that's where you get discipline from. Okay? You learn proper discipline by, by learning how to obey the rules through pain. Okay? So whenever, whenever, you, whenever you broke the house rules or whenever you did something wrong according to the law, statutes, and commandments of the Holy Scriptures back in the ancient world, you know, you being a child, you was chastised by, by, by getting whipped. Okay? What was it? I, I believe it was 40 stripes. You got like, you got like 40 stripes. Okay? And the scriptures speak about that, you know? You give them 40 stripes that, 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 that ye suffer not sin upon your child. Okay, so, so in, in order to learn proper discipline, you know, you got to be corrected by pain. And in this truth, we learn to be disciplined through, through going, we, uh, you know, in this truth, we learn discipline by going through pain, rather if it's spiritual pain, rather if it's emotional pain, rather if it's mental pain, or, you know, sometimes physical pain, you know? I mean, you might be riding your bike and then, you know, you might slip and fall on some ice and, and you know, you, you hit the ground. You know, yeah, yeah, the Lord caused you to do that, but that's the Lord chastising you, you know? You know, you might have, you might have wanted some box from your woman as soon as you came home from work and she told you nah, cause she in a bad mood. Well, guess what? You're gonna feel some kind of way. You're gonna go through some kind of mental pain. So we learn discipline through pain. And through that pain, we learn to fear. To fear who? Yahweh Bashum, Yahweh Shai. So whenever you're going through hell in this truth, hey, the scriptures say, count it all joy. For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth, and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. With that, I'm going to say Shalom is on to the next one.